Right now, our Nine Cares Colorado Shares drive is going on through June 9th, and we work with local food banks raising money for people facing food insecurity. Now, if you'd like to donate and help out, there are a few ways that you can help. You can scan the QR code right there on the screen or go to our online donation page, but you can also donate when you're shopping at King Supers or you can go to 9news.com slash 9cares. And our 9cares drive really helps make a difference in food insecurity all across the state. And for a better perspective, when we talk about things like this, the impact that hunger can have on our health, we bring in 9 News medical expert, Dr. Kyle Pyle Coley, to join us to talk about this. When we talk about food insecurity, I think that's a term some people are unfamiliar with. What does that mean? You know, food insecurity really encompasses all types of different problems, but really what it crystallizes is not having reliable access to good, high-quality, nutritious food. So it doesn't mean you're not eating, it just means you're not eating high-quality food. And, you know, post-pandemic, with all the inflation and everything, food insecurity has become such a big problem here in the United States that we actually think it's part of what's contributing to the obesity epidemic, which is a little ironic if you think about it, because you think generally hunger, you tend to lose weight. But when you're eating bad foods, which is what people with food insecurity do, you pack on those pounds. Mm. And you think of the obvious indications in health as far as what you eat and how often you get to eat and, you know, how much you get to eat. But the emotional side of that, too, I would think for people, it can be extremely taxing. Uh, it's ridiculous, Tom. I mean, you talk about the physical impacts. It literally affects your longevity, your risk for cancer, your risk for heart disease, your risk for high blood pressure. And what's interesting about food insecurities, a snapshot of food insecurity can have long-lasting effects. So it's not that you have to continuously not have access to good food or what have you, but even a few years of eating poorly can have long-term effects. But you bring up the mental health and the mental health issues that come with it. In fact, we're not only seeing depression, anxiety, PTSD, especially in kids who grow up with food insecurity, but we're also seeing problems with cognition. These individuals can't make decisions in the same way. They can't plan their tasks in the same way. It affects our ability to think and function. So when you talk about that, then you are speaking of families, and that's part of what we're hoping to reach is families, especially in the summer months, because the long-term impact, you think about a child that you hope they have a long, healthy life, but if not if they have food insecurity issues. Not at all. In fact, what we're seeing is a domino effect. We're seeing largely neuropsychological and behavioral impacts. You know, in kids who've had food insecurity, they grow up having substance use problems, having drug addictions, those types of things. But again, even the physical impacts can't be underscored well, enough. the growing body, it needs far nutrition, more nutrition. Needs than, vitamins, yeah. needs enough calories, and you need good calories. Otherwise, what do you do if you're not getting enough good food? You break down your muscles, you break down your tissues to liberate those nutrients. So the fact that it happens happens during adolescence and one in seven Colorado kids struggles with this. It's probably mm. higher since the pandemic. One in 10 Colorado adults. This is something that's an everybody problem. It's always been something that we've seen change uh, as food banks have become more prevalent. Food Bank of the Rockies and all of the regional food banks. But so many people used to the canned food drives. You know, I'll bring, you know, the peanut butter or the sardines or whatever. But cash is so much more valuable to these operations because they know how to get the right foods and where to get them at the best prices. Such a good point because it's not just about getting food, it's about getting good high quality food. And we talk about these food deserts in medicine, we talk about medical deserts because food deserts and medical deserts overlap, but really giving in a way that people can give their family what they need, fresh food, fresh vegetables, organic fruits and vegetables is so important and helping them so that they don't just struggle with the physical and mental effects, but even the social effects. Effects. So think about a person who has food insecurity. They withdraw, they have low self-esteem, they have no confidence, you know, they don't get along with people, they stay away from social situations. So when we talk about all the things that make us live a long, happy, healthy life, we've taken away nutrition, we've taken away sleep because it impacts our sleep, we've taken away the social behaviors and even the physical. A vicious behavior. cycle. Yeah. It, it preys upon itself in some ways. Right. I mean, you're eating those canned foods, you're getting all that sodium, you're eating processed foods, you're raising your triglycerides, you're gaining weight. So really, at so many levels, we just need to reach into our hearts and reach into our pockets to try to help everybody because this is something that could impact any of us in our life. No. Well, you make a great point. I think you reminded us why we need to contribute, why we need to help. Nine Cares, Colorado Shares. But always, your advice, it's so important. We kind of need a bigger picture when we think about hunger. Thank you. Uh, you can always find Dr. Coley's advice on 9news.com slash Dr. Coley.